And so baseball was the only thing I knew from childhood through growing up. We moved back to Brownwood. We lived with my grandparents for a while. And the one person that I cherished and loved more than anybody in my life was my grandfather, Ernest Morris. I tell people all the time, you need a mentor in your life. You need someone you can look up to, someone you can be like, someone you can fashion yourself after, someone you can appreciate and respect. My grandfather, Ernest Morris, was that person. He had a menswear store in Brownwood, Texas, middle of nowhere. Started from the floor up. Six foot three, 225 pound man. He had people like Gene Autry come in from California and buy suits from him in Brownwood, Texas. He knew everybody. Most integrity of anybody I'd ever seen in my life. Most honest person of anybody. He was an incredible person. I looked up to him and I wanted to be like him. But as I lived with him through my high school years, he had this saying anytime I walked out of his house. He was very respected. He was either at church or at work his entire life. When I walked out of his front door every day, whether it was to cut the yard, get the newspaper, go to school, go to football practice, wherever it was, he would say, remember who you are. Remember who you are. 15, 16, and 17, I thought, remember who you are, man. Remember that you're my grandson, and if you embarrass me in any way, I will kill you. <laughs> took me until my 30s, and I had kids of my own, and I taught kids to realize, remember who you are is actually quite simple. Don't do anything you wouldn't have anybody see you do at any time. You have so many people looking up to you and looking at you. Remember who you are. Kids are always looking at us. We don't always realize it. They hear every single thing we say. Remember who you are. I worked for my grandfather in the stores during the summertime. I learned some incredible things about him. Things he didn't want other people to know. Like during Thanksgiving, he would take dinners to people who couldn't afford anything. During Christmas, he'd buy Christmas gifts for families and pay bills for them because they didn't have anything to give their kids. And he did it anonymously. No one ever knew where it came from. It just happened. He was Santa Claus. But he didn't want the credit for it. He just didn't want those kids to go without. Remember who you are. People helping people. That's why we're all here. That's why we're all in this room. Well, as I went through high school, I learned a lot and I loved my grandfather a lot. And I watched the way he worked with people day in and day out. And I knew that someday I wanted to be like that. But as a teenager, I wasn't quite ready. I learned from my dad to be sarcastic, and I had to answer for everything. I knew everything. All you had to do was ask me. I'd tell you. You know those little tests they give you? Trying to get out of high school, going to college, ACT, SAT test? I took those tests. The scores came back, my counselor stops me in the hallway one day, and he said, Jimmy, what are you going to do with your life? And I said, I'm going to be a baseball player. Everybody knows that. He said, God, I hope so, because you're too stupid to go to college. <laughs> this was my guidance counselor. He's helping me with my future. Well, he's not a guidance counselor anymore. Works in a movie rental store. He's renting the movie about my life to other people. <laughs> Never put limits on people. People can achieve so much, they have no idea what they can achieve until they actually step out there and they try it. It's incredible. We won a state championship my senior year in football. And it wasn't because we were the biggest or the fastest team in the state of Texas. It was because we practiced and we worked harder than anybody else. We knew what the other team was going to do before they did. We won because we were a team. We weren't a, a group of individuals trying to accomplish something. We were a team that did accomplish something.